Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, well, we are going to be taking a look at some absolutely insane upgrades to Unreal Engine games running on Xbox 360 emulation in the form of Xenia. So what you're watching right now is Gears of War 2 being run on this emulator in a build from I think 3 days ago and if you saw my compatibility video for RPCS3, Yuzu and Xenia only yesterday you may already be familiar with this gameplay footage. So do you want to see the insane upgrade to this game and tons of other games on this emulator? Check it out. At least we got reinforcements. Yeah. But for how much longer? This is a brand new update to the build I mentioned in my video just yesterday. This is in fact a hack of sorts which has added a workaround to allow Unreal Engine games to actually boot and start rendering graphics and as we can see in this brand new version, they have basically completely fixed most of the graphical issues we were seeing in many Unreal Engine games on Xenia. Fable 1 is also massively affected by these changes and unlike what we saw in my video yesterday, this game no longer has the horrible greenish yellow tint and also its graphics are basically perfectly rendered now in gameplay. This title also runs at a locked 30 frames per second with very low CPU and GPU usage, meaning it should run very well on computers once it's fixed up and optimized. Unfortunately, as I also said in yesterday's video, Fable 1 has this weird annoying issue where it just softlocks after about 45 seconds or a minute into gameplay, so until that's fixed, this game cannot be considered playable. Yet another awesome game that people have wanted on PC for many many years is Lost Odyssey, an Xbox 360 exclusive JRPG, which in my opinion is one of the best JRPGs released on the console. This game was made by the original creators of the Final Fantasy series and it is a damn crying shame that it has never been made available on any other platform outside of the Xbox 360. Again though, thanks to the updates we've seen in this Unreal Engine fixes build for Xenia, Lost Odyssey is now not only booting and going in game, but it is also rendering its graphics absolutely perfectly. Now, there's still a lot of work to get this game in a fully playable state. It has a few issues, the most prevalent of which is the fact that it just kind of softlocks and freezes sometimes. The most frequent of these softlocks or crashes happens just before you enter into a random battle. But just look at how well it's rendered, it's absolutely mind-blowing to see these kind of changes happening in only two days of development, and hopefully once the developers of Xenia figure out how to actually properly implement the hack or workaround that has allowed these games to render and go in-game, Xenia is going to be on course for an absolutely crazy update. Now, while Gears of War is now basically rendering really, really well, I'm not going to say perfect because Gears 2 at least has still got some shading issues which you're most likely to notice in very dark areas of the game. The most serious issues that the Gears games have on Xenia right now is the fact that you are not able to save your game progress from chapter to chapter. Oddly enough, in games like Gears of War 3, it does save your player and character level and also saves what collectibles you found, but for some strange reason, apparently due to some kind of storage reading problem, certain games like the Gears franchise are not currently able to save your game progress. Speaking of Gears of War 3, let's jump over to that game and take a look at how it is running and rendering on this brand new Xenia update. So similarly to Gears of War 2, Gears of War 3 is also practically perfectly rendered. Unlike Gears of War 2, it does not have that odd issue where it has strange black outlines on some of the textures in darkened areas. Since it's using a more advanced version of the Unreal Engine and since it's very much so graphically better looking than Gears of War 2, it does seem to use a small bit more of your GPU, but at least in my own testing I was able to attain a solid 30 frames per second, that is once all of my shaders were cached. Jumping straight into some gameplay, you can see that as I said this game is basically rendered absolutely perfectly as it is on the Xbox 360 with all of its lighting, textures and even all of these complex effects like the destruction of this area once you walk through it fully and perfectly rendered on Xenia. In respect to Gears of War 1 and Gears of War Judgment, 
I do have Gears of War 1, but unfortunately, as soon as it gets to the title menu, it just stops taking input for some reason, meaning you're not able to pass that screen or go in game. And in respect to Gears of War Judgment, I don't actually have that game currently, but based off some images and videos I've seen on Xenia's Discord, it appears to be in the exact same state as Gears of War 2 and Gears of War 3 on this emulator currently, where it has basically perfectly rendered graphics, but as with Gears 2 and 3, it has that odd issue where it's not able to save your game properly. Progress. But just look at this guys, look at how absolutely amazing this game is not only looking but also running on PC. Considering that Gears 2 and 3 never got any form of PC port, the playability of these games on this emulator is going to be super important both now and in future, and based off the progress we've seen in these workaround builds in the last few days, the future for Xenia emulator is definitely a bright one. As always guys, if there are any games you would like to see me test, either be them Unreal Engine games or otherwise on Xenia, please let me know down below this video in a comment and if I can get access to that game I'll test it out for you absolutely no problem at all. Before I leave you with some campaign gameplay footage of Gears of War 3, I want to give a massive shout out and thank you to all of my supporters over on Patreon.com. You guys are absolutely awesome and each of you are legends in your own right, with this support helping me to pay for things like electricity bills, water bills, internet bills and for all the games I need for testing in videos just like this one. So if anyone out there in the community would like to help with the day to day running of BSOD Gaming, please consider heading to the Patreon link in the description of this video and pledging to support the channel. These donations and pledges really do help me to maintain this YouTube channel, so to all past, present and potential future supporters, thank you guys very, very much. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button down below as it really does help with the visibility not only of this video but also of my YouTube channel as a whole. And if you would like to see all of my future videos and uploads, please consider hitting the subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Once again guys, thank you very much for checking out this video, have a great day and I will see you in the next one. I've got crops to take care of. If we don't grow it, we don't eat it, remember? I think the radishes can cope without you for a while. <sighs> okay, let's get this over with. Deck 2, secure all hatches. See safety team, close up on Deck 2. Prepare for inbound raid. The Raven's coming back. Sam and Cole just took off for supplies. Huh. Maybe Baird forgot his wallet. The stocks give the creeps. Yeah, even when they're empty husks. I'm expecting polyps to spew out of them, you know? Come on, Jace. Work to do. It's Stock City out there. All right, all right. Give me a second. Damn. Nearly got it that time. That candy's like 10 years old, man. You're gonna puke your guts up. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a price I'm willing to pay. Guys, see I see. Now. <clears throat> this is Captain Michelson to all ship's company. We have now entered Lambent Waters. Go to Alert State 1 and secure for action. At least the old man still takes the threat seriously. Folks seem to forget how we ended up like this. Out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, well, not me. Those damn things are still out there, and I'll be ready for them. Roger that, Sovereign. KR-01 inbound. Estimated landing in five minutes. Secure the deck. We've been on alert for three months, Trooper. You came between Dom and his radishes, Lieutenant. This better be good. Good? Probably not. A shock? Yeah. Guess who's come back from the dead. Do I get a prize if I'm right? Chairman Prescott. No shit. You mean ex-Chairman Prescott? That asshole. He ran out on us 18 months ago. What's he expecting now, red carpet? I'm waiting to find out. Worship Sovereign. Hang on. This is KR-01 requesting permission to land. One passenger, Chairman Prescott. KR-01, this is Sovereign. You are clear to land. Deck team standing by. 
Wonder where Prescott managed to find a helicopter. He sure as hell didn't leave with one. He never called, he never sent flowers. Oh, I can't wait to hear this shit. I'll get the popcorn. Damn, stocks are gonna do some real damage one day. Unidentified barrier. New kind of glowy. Great time for a date you. to KR-01, you are clear to land. The forward lift is being raised for you. Stand by. Copy that, Sovereign. Betty strolls back in here like nothing happened. Better park that nice new Raven carefully. Let's give the traditional stranded welcome. Strip the chopper for parts. You think he knows that the cog fell apart after he disappeared? You think he cares? Chairman Prescott, welcome to what's left of the cog. I'll have answers for you, ladies and gentlemen. But later. I need to see Colonel Hoffman immediately. Hoffman's been gone almost as long as you have, Chairman. He's dead? He left to take a group of civilians to Anvilgate. Captain Michelson's the senior officer now. Not that we have much of a military left. I'd better talk to the gallant captain, then. I have a mission for him. Oh, and Sergeant Phoenix, you'll want to see this. This better not be a shopping list. Let's go check it out. <laughs> 